Hello friends, my name is Vic and uh, today I am going to help you with the topic number system that covers under basic mathematics. So in order to have the clear concept of the mathematical expressions we need to understand the clear concept of number system. So under number system we have different types of numbers, natural numbers, we have whole numbers, we have integers, We have rational numbers, we have irrational numbers, then we have real numbers. So now we are going to take one by one the one by one and understand what exactly are these numbers. This is going to be the building stone. Okay. So the natural numbers. The counting numbers are known as natural numbers. Like 1, 2, 3 and so on. So these numbers are called natural numbers. So the collection of all natural numbers is denoted by n. The collection of these natural numbers is denoted by n. It's important to remember these so the next is whole numbers. Along with these natural numbers, when we add zero, the term as they are named as whole numbers. So if zero is included in the collection of natural numbers, then the collection, as I mentioned, zero, one, two, three, four, and so on, are called as whole numbers. So this is represented by W. So again very important to remember the notation N for natural numbers, W for whole numbers. Next is integers. The collection of natural numbers 0 and their negatives are known as integers. So what is the collection? Collection is natural numbers plus whole number and their negatives minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 up to so on. So they are called as integers and it is denoted by symbol Z. Next is rational numbers. Numbers of the form P by Q. P divided by Q where Q should not be 0. Q must belongs to integers. So this is called as rational numbers. Okay. 
Next is irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are the numbers which cannot be written in the form of P divided by Q. Okay. Now, for the chapter being, we are left with last number. The name is real numbers. So the collection of rational numbers and irrational numbers are known as real number. So the collection of rational numbers plus irrational numbers, they both are termed as real numbers. So I hope with this you would be able to understand the natural number, whole number, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers and real numbers. If you have any doubt you can post me questions in the comments and I would be happy to help you. If you like the video, please share and like. Thank you. I look forward to you in my next class.